Hi, Evangeline and Belina. You know, Evangeline, you want to see how the guinea pigs are doing. They are doing really well. I went and bought bedding and hay and pellets for them. And they are there eating the hay in their very clean, in their very clean cage. I just put new bedding and put fresh hay. They have little treats over there on the side, but they're doing well. Say hi, Skipper and Marshmallow. Say hi to Evangelina and Belina. They miss you. They want to know if you're getting big. Skipper and Marshmallow, they love you and they miss you and they can't wait to come home to see you and hug you. Oh. So I made another video. I think I'm just going to have to post two. I made another video and then all of a sudden I accidentally pushed something and then it stopped recording. So I'm going to go ahead and just post both of them because they were a little bit more interactive than the last one. But I did want to read a story to you. It has to do with animals called Daylight, Starlight, Wildlife by Wendell Miner. The sun shines on earth, bringing the light and warmth of day. Do you know these daylight visitors? Then earth spins away from the sun, bringing the darkness of cool of, and cool of night. Do you know these starlight visitors? So there's all kinds of animals in here. I see a rabbit, a turtle. This looks like a bobcat, a monarch butterfly, a squirrel, a turkey, some deer. I see a blue jay. And then over here, it's starting to get dark and you see a coyote, bats, an owl, a fox. I see a skunk. An opossum, an opossum mommy with her two little babies, that's like us, a raccoon. And there's this other beautiful butterfly right here. By day, sharp-eyed, red-tailed hawk soars high in the sky and scans the earth for food. I love when I see a hawk. Remember when we went to the park last week and we saw this beautiful hawk when we were swinging on the swings and we were talking about how it feels like we're flying if you look up to the sky when you're swinging, Evangeline. And it was just so relaxing for us. And we saw this amazing hawk pass by. That's what it reminds me of. In the stillness of night, wide-eyed barn owl silently swoops through the sky. At dawn, fluffy cottontail rabbit and her kids hop into the field and hold still till all is safe. Here's another mama rabbit with her babies, with the three little babies. At night, pink-nosed opossum plods through the field and forages for food with her family on her back. There's another mama with her three little babies. Bright tiger swallowtail butterfly floats and flutters in the summer sunshine. And there's the flowers in a group of three. One, two, three. Named for the moon, luminous luna moth only comes out at night. That's why it was with the nocturnal creatures, right? Nocturnal meaning night. That's a pretty moth that comes out at night. Luminous luna moth. And luna means moon in Spanish. Graceful white-tailed deer finds her fawn hiding in the flowers filled field. Like Bambi. On a frigid night, crafty red fox carefully listens, then crouches and quickly pounces. My alarm's going off. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 
chubby mother woodchuck and her cubs waddle out to munch in the meadow. So here you have a woodchuck with her three little babies, her three little cubs. And then fearless mother skunk leads her litter through the field to find a midnight snack. So when a mama skunk has babies, she calls it a litter. I like how it's a lot of mamas and the babies. Speedy gray squirrel scurries all day in search of acorns to store for winter. Flying squirrel glides gracefully from tree to tree through the starlit night. Isn't that cool? I've actually seen something like that in person. Brightly colored box turtle shuffles through the tall grass searching for slugs, snails, and strawberries. Here's a turtle. Warty Toad will stick out his sticky tongue to slurp down a nighttime meal of moths. Small striped chipmunk perches on a pumpkin to fill his cheeks with goodies from the garden. Aren't chipmunks cute? Sprightly deer mouse scampers down a log and finds a firefly. That's so cute. I like this picture. As the sun rises, stealthy bobcat and her kitten scope out the summer landscape. The mama bobcat and her baby. On a cold winter's night, clever coyote howls beneath the stars to call to his pack. Uh -huh. Colorful red cardinal welcomes the sunrise with a sweet song. As night falls, the song of brown eyed bared owl fills the forest. As our world turns from night to day, critters big and small come and go. While you're resting, are raccoons bracing by under the cover of night? Who knows what the light of morning will bring? Look and listen what wonderful wildlife is visiting you. We had a family of raccoons like this cross the fence right here on the side of the house and apartment. And... Um, Tio Peps, you know, my brother, my older brother, Jose, caught it on camera. So we have, you know, raccoons out here, and they were right by the fence. We also have opossums out here. Um, we have coyotes out here still, just not as much as when we first moved out here. When I was four years old, and if we were coming back from my aunt's house, um, for, you know, for whatever reason, let's say in the winter and it was 6 p.m., we would actually see coyotes on our drive back up the hill. And um, that's why we saw some of those rabbits too at the park that's close by here. Since, since we live on a hill and the park over here is on a hill, there is wildlife out here still. The hawk, you know, the rabbits, the wild rabbits, uh, the coyotes. And you wouldn't think, you wouldn't think that because we still live in a city. Um, so we don't see as many coyotes as we used to. But um, if food is scarce for them, you will see them out here more. I like, I want to note something where it says, who knows what the light of the morning will bring. And it says, look and listen. It's nice when you first wake up in the morning and it's quiet. Sometimes, you know, before Evangeline and Belina would wake up, before we would start homeschooling here when they were still here at my home, I would sit on that couch right there. And it's, it's a futon couch, but I would sit right there. And I would list, and I would just listen and look out the window because I have a big window right here where the kitchen is. And so if I'm washing the dishes, I could look out. 
and I would just look at the trees and I would look at birds and I would listen for wind. I would listen to birds chirping in the morning. And I practice something in therapy called mindfulness. When we are mindful, we're using all our senses and really thinking about what's happening in the moment, feeling the warmth of the cup of the coffee in my hand, you know, sipping the warmth of coffee and feeling the warmth going down my throat and just the taste of my morning coffee. Being mindful means being present in the moment and being aware of all of our surroundings like Quiet Coyote does when we keep our mouth closed and our ears are listening and we're paying attention to our surroundings. Sometimes when we live life quickly and we're rushing out the door, we don't get to enjoy life's moments like that. And so it's important for us to slow down sometimes and sit and observe and listen and be fully in tune with our body, our mind, and our spirit and to fully be aware of our surroundings. That's what truly being mindful is. And if you, when you eat your next meal, you can sit there and just really think of the tastes what, what is it that I'm tasting? Can I figure out what herbs are in this? Can I figure out what, what the texture is like? And that's mindful eating. And we can be mindful in so many ways. I actually practiced mindful eating just the other day because I was craving sweet bread. And so I ended up finding this recipe on Instagram. And it was... Um, it was supposed to be like a flakier muffin, like a little sweet orange zest sugar muffin. And I was just sitting there being mindful of the flavors and the orange zest that came out with it. And so I was really just critiquing my own baking, but tasting the flavors and thinking, what would this pair with? Would it be a nice icing? Would it be the cajeta that I put on top of it? you know, the caramelo, would it be, you know, dusting some powdered sugar on here? Would it be adding chocolate? I mean, I just started really tasting the flavors and thinking of how I could make it even better than what already was. And usually people who like to bake can critique their own work and taste it like that. But I wanted to take the time to, to teach you about mindfulness since it was in this story. And that's actually the end of the story. There's some fun facts here about different animals. Fun facts. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Fun facts. All the wildlife featured in Daylight Starlight Wildlife has visited my backyard at one time or another. No matter where you live, chances are you may have seen or heard many of them too. Some are diurnal, which are daytime animals. Some are nocturnal, nighttime. And some are crepuscular, twilight, sunrise, and or sunset. Here are some interesting facts about the creatures in this book. One of my favorite birds that we see out here are hummingbirds. When I see a hummingbird out here, I get really excited. It's like a treat because they flutter so fast and it's just... You know, you see them one moment and then they're like, Whoop! they just zigzag right past you and they're gone. Red-tailed hawks are the most common hawks in North America. They like to soar over open fields and with their very keen eyesight, they can easily spot a mouse while in flight diurnal. Barn owls are silent in flight due to their soft fringe edged feathers. They have excellent hearing for hunting in the darkest of nights, nocturnal. Cottontail rabbits mostly hop along slowly, but if they are spotted by a predator, they can run up to 18 miles an hour, crepuscular. Opossums are the only marsupials, pouched mammals, native to the United States. Baby possums stay in their mother's pouch for the first few months. 
They ride on her back until they are ready to hunt on their own, and they're nocturnal. Tiger swallowtail butterflies have yellow and black stripes resembling a tiger's, a long tails and long tails on each hind wing that resemble a swallow. Diurnal. I, what I liked about Florida was we saw so many different butterflies. It was beautiful. We also saw all kinds of spiders and huge moths and all huge and very small um, mosquitoes that would bite really hard. <laughs> like we would get huge welts if, if we weren't indoors. And it felt like no amount of insect spray helped. It was just kind of interesting. But we weren't, you know, we're not native to Florida, so it was better for us to come back to California because we are natives of California. Luna moths are sometimes called moon moths. They have no mouth and cannot feed, so they live for only a few days and are a rare sight, and are a rare sight, nocturnal. What Evangeline and I love doing is when we see a butterfly, especially a white butterfly, we make a wish. It's like good luck for us. White-tailed deer, mothers are protective of their young. While they forage for food, their fawns stay hidden nearby, camouflaged against the forest floor. Crepuscular. Red foxes stalk their prey and often pounce to catch them. Their excellent hearing allows them to easily pinpoint the location of their prey. Nocturnal, but active early morning and late evening. Woodchucks, also known as groundhogs put on weight in spring and summer to store energy for winter hibernation. A woodchuck can eat a whole pound of vegetation in one sitting. Diurnal. Skunks look very distinctive with their black and white fury coats. When threatened, skunks release a pungent smelling spray to ward off any enemies. Nocturnal. Gray squirrels come in a variety of shades of gray, black, orange, and brown. They're very noisy for their size, often barking and chattering, and can eat two pounds of nuts a week, diurnal. Flying squirrels have a special membrane between their front and back legs that allows them to glide through the air like a kite. They have very large black eyes that help them see at night, nocturnal. Box turtles have a beautiful dome-shaped shell with yellow, orange, black, and or olive markings. These turtles can live up to 80 years, diurnal. American toads live on the land as adults, but start their life as tadpoles in water. Toads eat spiders, slugs, earthworms, and lots of insects, nocturnal. Chickmunks have cheek pouches that can enlarge to three times bigger than their heads. They are used to transport food, diurnal. Deer mice are plentiful and female deer mice can have many litters in one year. They are adept climbers and like to play at night in woven areas, nocturnal. Bobcats are named for their short bob's tail. These wildcats are excellent hunters who are very territorial. A typical bobcat litter will have one to six kittens, nocturnal and diurnal. Coyotes, coyotes, have very keen vision and a sharp sense of smell making them expert hunters. They how to communicate and to keep track of their family. Nocturnal, sometimes crepuscular. Cardinals have 16 different calls, but their most familiar call is their classic cheer, cheer, cheer. The male cardinal is known for its brilliant red color, while the brown females have a sharp crest and red accents, diurnal. Barred owls are named for the distinctive stripes on their breasts. Their night call sounds like the pattern of the words, who cooks for you? Nocturnal. Who cooks for me? I cook for me. <laughs> Wild turkeys have 20 different calls, including their unique gobble gobble sound. They can fly up to 55 miles per hour, but only for short distances, diurnal. Belina and Evangeline like this song. Gobble, 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 fat turkey, fat turkey. Gobble, 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 fat turkey are we. We're not here for living, we're here for Thanksgiving. Gobble, 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 fat turkey we are. Raccoons have a distinctive black mask across their eyes. They're very smart. 
foragers and have learned how to take the lids off trash cans and unlatch doors. Nocturnal. If you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. Everywhere. Vincent Van Gogh. In memory of Matthew Cowles and his love for all things wild and free. And to his grandson, Max, who will carry on in his spirit. W.M. There's a little dedication in the back. So that's it. Absolutely love animals. And I like to think the animals love me. I've always loved learning about animals, being around animals. They're so connected to the earth and so natural and so instinctive. And they're so soothing. I know that when we got our guinea pig skipper buddy, he was shivering in fear. And so I would hold him like a baby because he was only a baby when we got him. I would hold him like a baby and I would say, it's okay. We're not going to hurt you. We're not going to hurt you. And I would just let him listen to my heartbeat. And maybe within three days, he stopped shivering. And he realized, hey, she feeds me. She holds me. She's keeping me safe. I haven't been eaten by a hawk. So, um, you know, skippers like our baby. Evangeline says they're my grandbabies because Belina says that she's Marshmallow's mommy and Evangeline says that she's Skipper Buddy's mommy. So that makes me a guinea pig grandma. And um, they're just such a joy to have. I've, I've talked about my guinea pigs and how they were really such a support for Evangeline and Belina when they, you know, were having high anxiety. Um and they are just such soothing, loving animals. And it just brought so much joy to our home. And even when I hear them talking to me, you know, if they're hungry and they hear me open the fridge, they're like classically conditioned to start squeaking. And Belina does it very well. They're a little throaty. The throaty no noise is like, mm, 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 mm. sounds like that. And I'm like, okay, you want to carry? I hear you. Um, other times, you know, they'll ask me for water. Um, if they chirp really, really loud, like an alarm, I'm telling you, they're like really great guard dogs. But I'm really blessed to have our guinea pigs. And we've had them for two years. Um, and I, I do feel sad that our guinea pigs have been such an emotional support for Evangeline and Belina. And they didn't even get to say goodbye to their guinea pigs. They didn't think they were be gone for so long did I um so you know Jane asked me mommy how are the guinea pigs can you do a video so I could see them and I said absolutely and so maybe I'll get like a little carrying case so that if we go to the park I can take them with us one of these days so they can see their guinea pigs but it is heartbreaking when children are taken from the only home that they've ever had that shows them love and when they have so much emotional support here, um, it doesn't it doesn't make sense to either myself or my children. So please pray for my children's safety and that their hearts always feel comfort, even when I'm not with them 24-7. But like I told my kids, I'm not giving up on you. Um, it's not my choice that you're not here. And if I could take you home with me, I would. Um, but they're saying I can't. So I make sure that they know that I do everything in my power and I ask for more days. Like, I want to see them every day. I want to see my kids every day. I want to talk to my kids every day. And so they're putting a limit on me. Uh, so hopefully they'll liberalize the visit soon. And um, even more so, they just realized that they made a really big mistake. I think they already know they made a really big mistake, but they don't want to admit it. And that's even more hurtful, I think. Uh, for myself and my children and especially because when I look into when I look into their eyes I see sadness you know I still see joy because the three of us are together but I see sadness in my children's eyes a sadness that wasn't there when they lived here and so I just want to comfort them all the time and protect my kids because I'm like these these animals you know I'm a mama bear and mom and bears take care of their babies. All right. 
Have a good night, everybody. I love you, Evangelina Bellina. Mwah! I'll see you soon.